Hello and thank you for joining me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flojo, on another PowerFX video. Today we have got the upper function and we're going to find out what it actually does. So what does the upper function do? Well, essentially it creates uppercase characters. It creates capitalized characters for everything that you pass into it. So let's say you've got a GUID that you're, you want to check and you're doing a comparison and it's all saved in your database as capitalization. Well, if it's all capitalized, it's all uppercase, and you've got a user inputting data that you want to compare, and you want to do a one-for-one -one match, case sensitive, then you're going to have to take that user input and convert it into an uppercase set. Well, this may have spaces, this may have dashes and all of that. So we're gonna go through this entire process and see what actually happens when we have lowercase to uppercase, when we've got some uppercase to uppercase, as well as if we've got some spaces and multiple words, etc. So let's get started. Well, firstly, on your screen, you can see that I've got upper written, capital U, P-P-E-R, open the parentheses, then I've got quotation marks, flow Joe in lowercase, uh, closing the quotation marks and closing the parentheses. Now, this is how you write the function. You essentially pass any text into these parentheses and it will convert it into capitalized. But what, what can you actually do then? Well, as you can see here, I'm just passing through some text that I've written, but you may be pulling some data from uh, SharePoint, you may be pulling data from uh, Dataverse, uh, SQL, anything like that, wherever you're getting your data from, you can pass it in providing it is a string text type and you will then be able to convert it into uppercase. So let's actually take a look at this in action then. So I've got an output section here. And what I've got here is I've got a list of upper examples. So the first one is I'm going to just start with the one that we've just gone through. So if I just delete this comment here and allow me to see the output, and you can see I've written exactly what we've got here, upper, open the parentheses, uh, quotation marks, all lowercase flow Joe, uh, closing the quotation marks, closing the parentheses, and I've got all uppercase, all capitalized flow Joe now as an output. So it's converted the lowercase to uppercase. But what happens then if we've got flow Joe with a capital F and a capital J for flow and Joe? What actually happens when we use upper then? Well, what actually happens is it ignores the F, ignores the J and converts every other character so they are all uppercase, they are all capitalized now. But what happens then if we have multiple words? Let's say you're passing in a paragraph or um, a sentence or something like that. What actually happens? Does it take into account spaces? Well, it does, because if we look at this example here, I've got flow space Joe. And again, it's created all of the characters into capitalized characters. And we have flow space Joe in capitalized uh, characters. So what happens then for the final example, if we've got already an uppercase flow Joe? We've got capitalized flow Joe. So what happens when we use upper against that? Well, simply it ignores it. Everything is uh, capitalized already. So it doesn't need to go through and do anything. It's already capitalized that. So you can use it. You won't get any errors or anything like that. And that is how easy it is to capitalize every single character providing you're passing in a text input um, on PowerFX. But if you're looking for something different where you're just looking to capitalize the first character, then look for a video on my channel called proper. The proper function is how you can do proper capitalizations for words, but this is how easy it is to capitalize everything on PowerFX. Now, I'm showing you on PowerApps, but it's going to be the same on Copilot Studio or wherever you're using PowerFX providing this function is part of that platform. Thank you for joining me on this video again. And if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel and I'll see you on another video.